Bonjour mes amis. Today I thought I would just share with you a small glimpse of Père Lachaise Cemetery. I'm not sure why it took me three trips to Paris to get here. Um, it is a gently raining day which seems perfect somehow. I am completely overwhelmed and amazed. Um, <clears throat> I think I heard somebody French call this I can't remember if they called it the city within a city or the last city, but it does, you get here and there are, spe uh, there are specific vantage points where you just see rows and rows of mausoleums, tombs. Um, I'm gonna try to walk, but this is nothing but cobblestones, which is really interesting, um, but it is just, I have been walking for, I don't know, about three hours through the cemetery. I will insert some photos of, I went to see the graves of um, Edith Piaf, Jim Morrison, Oscar Wilde were the three I really wanted to see the most, um, <clears throat> and others. And. Uh, it is just, I just don't even have words. Oh my gosh. Um, I knew it was big when I got here and I was kind of at one end of the cemetery and it said it was an eight, a 0.8 mile walk to one of the graves I wanted to go to and about a mile to another grave I wanted to go to. So uh, yeah, that's when I realized just how large this is. Um, gosh, I hope I don't trip <laughs> very seriously though. Um, <clears throat> as you can imagine, so, you know, a lot of the larger, I don't even know if I call them mausoleums, <clears throat> are of, you know, I'm sure very wealthy people that I'm less familiar with. And not surprisingly, the graves of artists are sometimes smaller. Um, although again, I'll insert the, you know, Edith Piaf's is rather, it's beautiful, but I would say more humble. And Oscar Wilde is, you, you will look at it and go, yeah, that makes sense. That looks like Oscar Wilde's dedication. Um, this is, uh, on a giant hill. <clears throat> and as always, I'm, I always enjoy walking through cemeteries as much for the botanical kind of interest as the history. And there are a lot of things in bloom here. <clears throat> My goodness can see just there are just rows and rows and streets and streets and now I'm going to descend <clears throat> if you can see I'm going way down here so this has been my walk I'm sure you can see just the, look at that rows and rows so now we descend <clears throat> slowly because I'm the biggest klutz in the world perhaps <clears throat> my goodness <clears throat> and what I'm not featuring here, but I'll insert some photos, is an equally um, incredible cre crematory that is just, you know, there are small little dedications on the wall for people, and there's thousands, and the building is, that part is a small city in itself. It's just, I don't, oh my gosh, look at this. This is the view from up top. Look at this. Unbelievable. And uh, I'm going to point out the obvious here and say it certainly puts you in touch with the fact that we all die. <clears throat> so I have both feelings of, oh, I don't know, the sadness and feelings of, man, live it up. You only live once. this oh my god 
gosh. All right, I'm gonna descend again. <clears throat> Goodness, almost to the road again. <clears throat> and then I'll be able to pick up the pace a little. Ooh. <clears throat> Here we go. Look, and just everywhere you look, there's more, <sighs> there's more ways to turn. <clears throat> So we're coming up in some large, boy, just when I think I've seen this whole cemetery, I haven't seen anything. Um, again, I've been here for about three hours. I've walked many miles and there are still, I'm still experiencing buildings I have not seen yet. Some of these cobblestones are really slick because they're mossy and wet. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, here's another view. I just, I'm like, kind of want to cry. It's just so much. Oh my word. You see a few people here. There are a few what appear to be tourist groups and school groups. Not many people here. I mean, honestly, for the first probably 30 minutes, the only people I saw were workers. And then it was interesting. I saw a woman who, I think she must take it upon herself to kind of take care of Edith Piaf's grave. She was kind of changing the flowers. I don't think she worked here, um, but she quickly helped me find it. And she was just taking so much care and time around it. Anyway, you could tell she was kind of protecting and it was interesting and again, very beautiful and sad. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so I'm gonna maybe walk down one more street in case there's another outlook here just I mean in case you can't tell I'm in utter amazement oh wow <clears throat> oh there's some people hey um I will insert a picture there are some there's an area kind of up at the top where there are some Jewish dedications and there's one for um, one of the concentration camps. And, oh man, it broke me up. Whew. There were um, probably hundreds of stones around it that are like little prayers. Hooey. Just a lot. Just too a lot. <clears throat> not just because it's a cemetery. Ooh, this happens to me in Paris a lot. Just the grandeur and the, oh, the age, the history, the beauty of it just break, break me up. Ooh. Okay. I do think actually I'm coming to a spot where I've been before, which kind of is comforting, frankly. <clears throat> now I need to find my way out. <clears throat> so I hope... I hope this is interesting for those of you who <laughs> wanted to see it. Oh, look at these doors. Um, I'm gonna show you a few more things and then I'm gonna close out here. You can see, in, it's surprising, even in the historical areas, a lot of them have flowers. And it kind of makes me wonder, is it, Current, you know, is it family members? Whoopsie. Is it family members or is it just mourners from all over the world who might either know the people or just want to leave a token of respect? Very interesting. And there you can see just, I mean, it just goes on and on. Oh my. This is one of a handful of large cemeteries in Paris. All right, everyone, love each other, <clears throat> enjoy life. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this walk and uh, a